middle. This will probably be a beat spread. They're going to try and push back Nico here if possible. It's quite a tough task in itself. And you can see Mars actually hunting for some info towards B as well. They are going to be isolated by Food to Smoke, of course. It's Nico. He takes down Dennis. He gets a double and drops the bomb as well. What a player that was. And he wants more. Another headshot for Nico. Fantastic work from him. It's very best to try and get into the head of Sixer. Yeah, that is completely brainy each other at the moment. <laughs> it looks like Lecro's got the position. He's going to take Oh, <gasps> what? Whoa, it looked oh so good. What a quick adjustment from six. The last player for Dignitas is walking in behind him. That's Cajun B coming in with the AWP. If he misses the shot, it could be a 1v4 at the very beginning of this game here. Shock's hiding, patiently waiting. He's not even trying for the bomb yet. And Cajun coming around the corner, trying to check the angles. He's walking right in. Shock's just there, and Cajun is going to be able to look for him. Oh, no, he doesn't oh. get it. Cajun turns around for the kill. What an <laughs> unreal way to lose. Again, you're going to see Mousewatt slowly working their way through the map here. Chris J just maybe catch if anyone tries to push. Yeah, he does more than that. He just completely just... Now look at the stack and the three players here. They're going to keep peeking. What is that? Jumping shot from Stewie. Can he get more? Hiko's got to be very, very angry about that one. And there it is again. Here between the two powerhouses, it's going to be Henny that takes the upper hand. Lex what? what? Oh, that's fine! At the eight bomb side, look at this. Crimp's going aggressive up towards the top mid, finds good damage. He's going to get one, oh, but his flusher on. is from short. Come take on. down both Apex and Sixer, both get taken down. Now it's a by long, and you don't want to take that fight versus oh, what? Oh, there you go. Wings 14 X are through this wall. Zipix actually gets two. We didn't see the second one. Okay, I was going to say the first one, Volda overextends it, and Zipix, he's able to pick up Marty in that as well, and he may find a third. Oh, Zipix has three kills through a wall on overpass. I love Easily it. Easily by C9 themselves and being traded out. As you can see, automatic. Oh, perfect spray transfer to get that last kill as well there. He manages to pick up the last two. Very, very Ended up being a very hit or miss strat, but they still seem to be sticking with it right now. And it actually, for Breezy there, you can see, works out great. Times the shot. Back, what? Back. <laughs> And, uh, that's the only reason they're able to do it. Freeze. He's using that angle a lot. He got away with it too. Wins a uh, nice. Oh, oh what? damn! Freeze. No scream answers straight away though. Four and four. Existing. What he can with the AK. Oh. Apparently, he finds two kills out of nowhere. This could be it. Four on two and body. He goes down as well. Exists going absolutely ham right now. Just RPK left in a four on one. And he's going to be found by Get Right now. So there is opportunity to actually do something about this. But Pimp goes down. JDM. Yet to really have any impact with the AWP. Now smoked out, no kit, no nades. Has to just take the straight up challenge here and hope he can find the first frag. But a player in CT spawn, that pretty much denies any chance of winning the round. Oh. But he hits the headshot. What the hell was that? That's a lovely shot from JD. Tizian's got a serious task coming his way. Multiple players on the opposite side of the door. He's wiggling around, waiting for the flashbang. There's one, there's two, there's three. He's looking for the fourth. He's going to get the ace. He's got the USB out. He's he going to find it through the smoke. Fine. Potentially make their way back into it with the limited fight they had. Oh, oh, this oh, round is all going to be mixed well in mid. He finds three through the smoke. He's going to get taken out by Sick and then stand up. Oh, it's Henny versus Pimp and JDM. Got the open hand. How did they spot him out? He scoped and ran. What was that, JDM? I'm sorry. But now it's all Pimp. They've left it in a one on one. And Henny is going to be going for the peak. If there's anyone you want in the situation, it's going to be him with the open hand. Oh, oh hey, oh, what was that? That was insane. No. That's no. how you put the hurt on. That's oh. how you get an eighth round. And that is how you punish Liquid. Yeah, there are two, well, two Molotovs, actually, on, uh, well, if Guardian reacts that quickly, he's just lightning fast, misses the second shot, goes for the wall bank attempt, and flush out with the wall bank of his own through the smoke, takes out Edward. Could spot out Guardian, but the cavalry has arrived. Flamey is already on the site, and while Caesar's rotated around, how does Flusher find him in the smoke like that? The hell is going on? Six seconds? Five seconds? Hey, well, it's a one on one now. Seize just rotated on to the side. Flusher's only got the three bullets, but he's given time to reload. And now it's all on Seize. He's going to use that inside area to force him out into the open and flush out with the clutch. How does that happen? Quad kill. Happy, even waiting for the push in. Fallen gets the spray shot anyway. What is what? that? What? What? what was that? I, okay, well, one on one, <gasps> but that. I don't even know what the what? hell that was. <laughs> Oh, and he unscopes just as Kenny peeks. But did he really just no scope wall bang Apex through smoke? <laughs>